Hey everyone, welcome to App Unbox. Today we have something really handy to share with you. We're going to dive deep into the UPDF software to manage your PDFs seamlessly. But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's get started. So here is UPDF guys, you can edit, annotate, convert, OCR, summarize and translate PDFs like a pro. So we can download the software for our Windows or and if you access this website from Mac OS, iOS or Android, you will be able to get download links for them too. So this UPDF is available for all four platforms. So first of all, we are going to check out the pricings of UPDF. So here is UPDF, you can purchase it for individual or you can purchase it for enterprise. So if you have a big company, then the enterprise is obviously a good choice. But since uh, we are um, talking about budget friendly UPDF software, then it, uh, you will probably want to purchase the individual one. All right, so here is the annual plan, which is $2.49 per month. And you're going to be billed to $29.99 uh, yearly. And here is the perpetual plan, which is uh, one time free and lifetime access, which is going to cost us $49.99. So uh, we have lifetime access on their own page too. But uh, let's go ahead and check uh, the lifetime access on other places. But before that, we are going to be able to see all the features. UPDF AI add-on is available. Get one month free now. So you can get one month free if you purchase the annual plan or well the perpetual plan is actually lifetime so there's no use of getting one month free right so we have uh, across you can use across windows mac android os well everything is the same here but uh, i think this one updf cloud service 10 gigabyte cloud storage here one year updf cloud service so you're getting get one year of updf cloud service and here you're getting updf cloud service uh, forever because you're paying them constantly then we have extract, insert, replace, split, merge. So let's go ahead and search for UPDF lifetime deal. Now it's available on Dealify, available on Stack Social. We'll grab LTD, Deal Mango, they just redirect. It's available on AppSumo. It's available on Deal Mirror. So let's check out them. Here is Dealify, so we are going to be paying $49.99 for the lifetime deal on their own page. But uh, in Dealify, we are going to need to pay only $39.99, which is one time. So let's scroll down and see all the features. And Dealify is offering 30 day credit back guarantee guys. So if you purchase the application and you don't like it or you don't find it useful uh, within one month, then you can just contact with them and get your refund and stop using the software. So here is the UPDF lifetime subscription. What is providing you? Uh, edit text in PDF, edit image, edit or add links in PDFs, uh, etc. You can see all of them. With each code, you will be able to redeem UPDF on four devices, one Windows, one Mac OS, one iOS, and one Android. Then we have 30 day credit back guarantee. Then uh, we have, you must redeem your codes. Okay, you should redeem your code within 60 days after purchase. So here is Dealify, it's providing you with $39 one time and 30 days money back guarantee, which is pretty cool. Now let's see what Stack Social has to offer. Well, Stack Social is also offering at $39.99, same price. And here are the important details. Um, you can view PDF, you can attenuate PDF, edit PDF, uh, convert PDF to multiple file types, then organize PDF, and then we have some reviews. All right, let's scroll down a little more. The entire product has 4.833 rating with 12 reviews. So it has 4.833 rating out of five. Well, that's all for UPDF in Stack Social, but I don't think there is any money back guarantee here. Well, so Stack Social is offering you to buy the software in installment. That's all, there is no money back guarantee or something. Yeah, no money back guarantee here. Well, then we have it on AppSumo here, UPDF editor, product details. Okay, let that load. We'll check it out on Deal Mirror. So UPDF lifetime deal is $49 on Deal Mirror, which is $6.
Is it $6 much? Yes, it is $6 much on Deal Mirror. And they have only 67 licenses left, so you have to hurry. And there are a UPDF lifetime deal review video. There are some review videos here. All right, scrolling down, there are some PDFs, uh, UPDF uh, screenshots here. You can check out the screenshots and then we have view PDF, atonate PDF, all of the details that we saw on the other applications. Then we have deal terms, length app access lifetime available for Windows, Mac, iOS and Android devices. Maximum number of devices for two desktops plus two mobiles, all future plan updates and you get 30 days money back guarantee for regular users, 60 days money back guarantee for prime members. So if you're a prime member in a uh, deal mirror, then you will be able to get 60 days money back guarantee, uh, which is with $6 extra. So uh, with $6 extra, you're getting 60 days money back guarantee. Then we have AppSumo. It's also costing us $39. So let's see what we are getting in $39 from UPDF and AppSumo. So here we have some videos and then we have the product details, some screenshots of UPDF. And scrolling down, we have the deal term conditions and we have 60 day money back guarantee. So in two months, we are able to return the software if we don't find it useful or we don't like it. So here is $39, which is $6 less than deal mirror, but we're still getting 60 days of money back guarantee. So I guess this is the best deal among all of them. And if you want to purchase it in installment, then Stack Social is a good deal. Uh, but if you want 60 days money back guarantee with the lowest price, then I think AppSumo is offering you what you want. Then we have one code will be providing you with all of these benefits. So here we go. We're going to close this window now and dive deep into UPDF. Let's go ahead, sign up. We're not going to download the software, but hey, why not? Let's go ahead and download the software too. After uh, exploring the web version, we are going to check out the software version. I guess it's not just here because of iPhone, the iOS devices. Well, there is one click sign up. We're going to continue with Google. So we are going to select our account and then your PDF callback and log in successful. So here we go. Uh, one step. Thanks for downloading your PDF. Uh, well, click here to install it manually. How will you install it? You will only be able to download it, not install. All right. So I guess we have <laughs> quite a lot here. We have three downloads already. So we canceled one and we're going to open up this one. Install it to our PC. Now, even after uh, logging in, uh, yeah, the PDFs cannot be managed online. You will need the application. All right, no problem. We are going to use the application for this process. Now we'll have another download. All right, everyone, so UPDF have been downloaded and installed. Now we are going to get started with the software. So here is our UPDF software. All right, so here is the home page of UPDF. Now from files, we can create a PDF uh, from uh, CAJ, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, v VCO, or image. And also we can open an existing PDF and edit it. So let's go ahead and log into our account. We're going to click on login here and we have been redirected to a web browser and then we're going to click on Google login. So here we go. We, are, we have been prompted to open UPDF. So let's open UPDF. And as you can see, I've been logged into UPDF software. So now we are going to open a PDF file and we are going to manage a PDF file in every single way. All right, since we don't need the web browser application now, we are going to close the web browser and we are going to focus on the application itself. Now let's open the PDF. We're going to go to desktop and here is the PDF file. So as you can see, guys, we have the entire file here. Now uh, it's prompting us to get the UPDF Pro, but we are going to do that later and we're going to see what we can do with the free version. Now here is the entire PDF file with all the pages. Now let's see if we can edit the texts. 
recognize text using OCR. So we have recognized text using OCR. For better user experience, you will need to download the OCR plugin before using it. So we are going to download the OCR plugin, Optical Character Recognition. That's what OCR stands for. All right, so let's go ahead and open a PDF that is editable. Let's go to downloads and here we have full text 01 PDF. And this is not an English language. Predicting Bitcoin price fluctuation with Twitter sentiment analysis. All right, so so guys, our PDF conversion is completed. And let's see, this is the OCR version and the text should now be editable. Let's find out, export PDF, uh, protect using password, search file for others, or send a file by email, save as others. Well, we have uh, nothing here. Now let's go ahead and edit the PDF. Uh, I don't see any editing option here. So here is the text. Uh, and they claimed that we will not be able to copy or edit the text, but uh, here we go. Let's see, yeah, the texts are editable. We are able to see, I mean, we are able to edit the text. Now let's add something here. We are adding some text as a test. Here we go. Now we have Arial MT. Uh, so it has recognized the font. Now we're gonna go on top and let's see if this font is recognized. Arial Bold MT. Now let's see, the font has been, oh wait, the font has been recognized. Lovely. And let's see if we can uh, drag this one. Yeah, we can drag the text. This is pretty cool that we can drag the text too. Now let's see the image. Uh, here is the image. Now we are able to drag the image too. But uh, this one looks much better. So we're gonna just uh, close this OCR. Out. I mean, now we're gonna keep this OCR version and we're gonna go to this one and let's see if we can um, edit something from here. Editing mode on. This time the image looks much uh, better. So we're gonna undo a lot. And after undoing, we can see that the image is here. Now here is the image. Uh, let's see if we can change the image, uh, replace. And we're gonna replace it with some downloaded images that are in our computer. And as you can see, the image has been replaced and you can uh, place the image anywhere you want. Now, can we just place the image anywhere we want or let's see what else can we do with the image. Uh, here we have delete image, crop image, extract image, rotate the image. So we can rotate, um, download, crop and remove image if necessary. Now let's go ahead and get the image to its original place. And uh, here we can also drag the texts and let's see what this font is, uh, Helvetica. So it can recognize the fonts pretty well. And then we have KTH Royal Institute of Computer Helvetica Bold. Let's see if these fonts are URW Pala of Paladol Aroma. So this is not English font. That's why it uh, sounds weird. Uh, let's go ahead and go to an English font. This should be English font. Media spare information. Yeah, this looks like English, but the font is not. Uh, font is weird. I haven't seen. I haven't read about this font anywhere. Anyhow, so let's see if we can write in this font or not. So here it is. Our entire font is ready here. Related search and so we have edited our text. We can edit our images and let's see. This is numbering panel, uh, page number. So we can drag the page number two. And here we have organized pages. We can uh, drag a page, one page from uh, one place to another, which is really awkward. We don't want the pages to mess up because if the pages are messed up, I will not be able to reorganize them. But if you feel like that, you know which page goes where, you can reorganize them by uh, clicking on organize pages. Then we have crop page. You can uh, resize a page if necessary. Let's make this page a square. Can we do a square? Uh, we are going to drag again and we're going to make this page a square. Here we go, dragging the page. Well, this this top drag is not working, okay? That's uh, got to be a bug and they should fix it. So the corner, which we already dragged, will not work, okay? Now this corner will not work, okay? So the upper right, upper left corner does not work. Yeah, that's a bug, I would say. 
and uh, the software manufacturers should get it fixed very soon. So we're working around the bug and as you can see we have squared up the page but uh, the page automatically just uh, the page automatically got uh, back into a rectangular form. All right, um, revert changes. So that's how you can revert changes. But how about if we just crop it like this? Apply changes options. So can we crop it like this? Yeah, we have the crop button here and uh, yeah, we have cropped it. But uh, it's still, uh, the page is still square, so it doesn't work pretty well. And plus you can revert the changes back to any time, which is a good thing to have. Like if you don't want the changes to be permanent, then you just want it to be visual, then you can just um, crop it and revert changes if necessary. And then we have some page tools here. Let's see what the page tool does. Oh, the page tool is gonna add some watermarks. So let's click on add to create a watermark. UPDF, add title watermark. This is a test watermark. Here we go. So we're gonna zoom in, save. Where is it? Now here is the hide temporary button and here is the watermark. Oh, we can set background. Cool. Let's go ahead. Oh my God. We can change the entire page color. Now that's some, uh, like if you want to copyright, you don't want your page to be photo photocopy, uh, photocopy compatible, then it's a good thing. You can just set a background color and it looks really cool. Then we can also set an image. Uh, no source file selected. Let's see if an image works. Downloads. Uh, well, we need a longer image this time. Yeah, the image works too. But is the image working for every single page? Yeah, the image is working for every single page. But the color is better. You know, because the color we set ratio of background. So here we go. Alright, so it's expandable. We're gonna click 100% and we can decrease the opacity. We can select somewhat pinkish. Now we are gonna save it and let's just uh, hide the watermark. Or we can just edit and create an image watermark. Let's go ahead and remove this, save it. Again, let's delete this one. Okay, we are removing the watermark. Let's add one image. Let's get something that's much more, uh, that has much more writing. And here we have uh, the watermark positionings. So we're gonna click on another image. Here we go. Number 1%, no, 17%, okay. Now we are gonna decrease the opacity. 10%, well, 10% is not visible at all. 30, 40. All right, so 40% opacity. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And the watermark automatically transfers to every single page. Now we are gonna keep the watermark, we're gonna keep the background color. Now let's see what else can we do. We can add header and footer. Now on the layout, we have uh, content, okay. This is a header. Then on the bottom footer, we are gonna write, this is a footer. So after writing header and footer, they will be transferred to every single page or without you uh, typing on every single page. So as you can see, they have been transferred to all the pages without uh, us setting it for all the pages. That's the magic of header and footer. They're just transferred automatically. Alrighty guys, so we have explored almost all the tools now, except for the comments. So let's see what the comment does. Um, we are gonna go to a page, yeah, this page. And now, so here we have selected the comment tool. And then we are gonna have a sticky note. Let's see, this is how comments work. So here we have said, this is how comments work. And now 
note. So if we click on this and then if we click on the note, the comment will pop up. And now we're going to try out how the comment actually works. You can also highlight something. As you can see, I'm highlighting some texts. Yeah, highlighting is a really good thing to have. I'm going to highlight again. Highlight. All right, so let's go ahead, select highlight, then. So this is how highlight works. Then we have text comment, yeah, text comment. This is a text comment. Well, that looks weird because uh, the T is on the top and EXT is on the bottom. All right, we're keeping the text comment and we're remembering the page 26, okay? Now remember, this is page 26. We have some pencil drawings. We have the eraser. Let's see if we can erase something from here. Uh, here's the eraser. And can we erase this? No, we can't. We can't erase the highlights. We can only erase the pencil. All right, then we have some rectangular shapes. Yeah, that's not necessary. We have some stickers. Cool. These stickers are very delightful. We can uh, drag and drop. Select the sticker size. Again, the sticker is a little choppy, guys. When I click on them, they just don't uh, work very well at the first time. And then we are going to select something. Okay. Oh, this is the rectangle again. Let's see if we can change the rectangle. Yeah, we have lots of other shapes too. Not only a rectangle, but there's something else. Yeah, how do we stop it? <laughs> okay, stop it with the, uh, the right click. All right, so here we have our polygon, which is not looking like a polygon. Oh, it looks very weird. And we have stamps too. So first we are gonna manage our stamp. Reviewed, okay. Approved. Let's say Chuck Norris approved. We're gonna stamp it over here, approved. That we have signature, cool. So this place is gonna be signature. We don't have any set signature. So oh, in order to use signature, we are gonna to have to create a signature, okay? Let's suppose this is my signature. And now we're gonna place our signature here, or we can, uh, or we can select the signature and make it as big as we want, or as small as we want. So this time I'm gonna keep a bigger signature panel. Here we have it, then strike through, underline, struggly, then we are going to save this PDF file. Um, so UPDF, uh, since we don't have the UPDF Pro, we are going to have to save it with watermark. Let's go ahead and save it with watermark. Now let's close it and open the PDF, oh, don't save the other one, okay, we don't want the OCR version. Now we are going to go to downloads, and here it is opening it with Microsoft Edge. So we have the PDF loaded in Microsoft uh, Edge. Now let's go to page 26. This is header, UPDF. As you can see, we have the UPDF uh, watermark here and we have to use the UPDF watermark because we are using the free version of the PDF and it's just not a watermark, guys. It's an, an entire link. If we just click it, we are redirected to the UPDF's uh, website link. And now, I'm unable to find a page. Now let's uh, zoom out a little because um, I couldn't seem to find the page that I have edited. So where did the page go? I'm pretty sure the page number was 26. Yeah, this this was the page number, but I don't see the edited contents. There we go. Yeah, we have it on 23. So here is the edited content, everything and every way that we edited, everything is there. And let's see if this one works. Yeah, it's hoverable. And as soon as we hover on the notepad, uh, this is how comment works. So this, this is very, a very unique way. You just add a small bit of comment box and when you hover over it, you, you can see how the comments work. So it's pretty cool guys. This tool is just making a PDF boom. And I, I can say pretty well that, and guys, I can say that this tool is more convenient than Adobe Acrobat Pro. So comparing this tool with Adobe Acrobat Pro, I think it's cheaper and much more feature rich than Adobe Acrobat Pro. So if you found this video helpful or informative guys, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, let us know in the comments if you want to know anything else about UPDF.
Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, stay curious and stay informed.